What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with everybody's Series 13 favorite mythical Pokemon, Marshadow. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. It really goes a long way. Just want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But before we get started here with today's team preview, you guys know the deal. I have to give a shout out to the team creator, my boy Marco Fury. Thank you so much for making this team. Cannot wait to use it. I will be linking his YouTube channel and his socials down in the description below. But a lot of you guys in my comment section were saying, yo, jeans, we want to see Marshadow. So I found us a banger of a Marshadow team, one that is actually like full of meta Pokemon to help you guys push rank ladder. So if you guys are looking for a rank Marshadow team, this is the team for you guys. But that out the way let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only solgaleo over here and this pokemon is super super strong and super bulky especially because it has the assault vest on this build moveset's going to consist of sunsteel strike earthquake rock slide and wild charge second pokemon is going to be that marsh shadow technician as his ability and the focus sash as item it's got coaching spectral thief shadow sneak and close combat for its four moves i really do like every single move on this uh move set right here coaching allows pokemon to get bulkier and uh gives ally pokemon a plus one on the attack boost spectral thief can steal stats and do big damage shadow sneak gives you first turn priority and close combat is just a big stab damage move from our shadow so it's gonna be really powerful to use on most pokemon middle left is going to be zastian over here we're not even gonna talk about that everything is pretty normal for zastian we'll skip him Fourth Pokemon is going to be Calyrex over here. Calyrex is here for Trick Room purposes and just for being Calyrex because everybody knows Calyrex is an absolute menace. It's got as one ability, helps out the Babiri Berry, and the moveset's going to be Trick Room, Protect, Glacial Lance, and High Horsepower. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our Weather Control Pokemon, but this time it is a Choice Scarf Growl. It's got Drought, it's got Precipice Blades, Stone Edge, Heat Crash, and Rock Tomb. I absolutely love the moveset it has right here, and I love the Choice Scarf. I think the Choice Scarf always throws off opponents and gives you an upper hand in cer certain situations. Final Pokemon is going to be Groudon's best friend. It is going to be Charizard right here with Solar Power and the Life Orb. You guys already know the power of Charizard. This one has Blast Burn, Ancient Power, Hurricane, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, Not the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this ranked Marshadow team. First battle coming at you guys, and it looks like our opponent is getting ready for Series 12. So Series 12 is actually coming on November 1st, which is just a couple days from now. And it, I think it goes back to like Series 12, where it takes out the mythical Pokemons, and it only allows like one or two restricted Pokemon. So this guy is getting ready for it. This guy is Landris, Incineroar, Zacian, Rillaboom, and then he's got Regilecki and Lapras. How should we go into this one? How should we play it? I feel like Marshadow is definitely going to be a lead. We have a lot of speed up against this guy, unless he goes into E-Web. But I feel like we can just kind of go in the Choice Scarf Groudon at this point. Maybe just Dynamax Groudon wall from there. Like, let me see this thing's stats. Let me see your stats, kind sir. Oh, I like those stats for Dynamax. And I really like those stats for Dynamax. And so I'm thinking of doing that. Or I can just go into, like, Solgaleo. Solgaleo wouldn't get affected by Intimidate either. I kind of like that a bit more. So we're going to go March out of Solgaleo here. Bring Zacian in the back end. And then last but not least, I think we just bring the Choice Scarf Groudon. Outspeeds a lot, has a great moveset, can KO the Zacian. We just had to watch out for a roll boom with that. But I feel like we have Pokemon to kind of counter up onto the roll boom and we should be fine. Or should I just go Charizard at the end there? Back end Charizard? That does sound lovely. It does sound lovely, but again, Groudon can outspeed and he can do some work. So I'm going to lock in Charizard. Or not Charizard, uh, Groudon here. But battle number one coming at you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are you guys most excited for with Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet? Is it going to be the open world aspect? Is it going to be certain Pokemon? Is it going to be like any other aspect in the game? You guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. But for me, I'm actually really excited for uh, Thrashalization. I think that gimmick is really, really cool. And it's going to make competitive so much better and so much more versatile. So I'm actually very excited for that. But he's going to end up going into Regilecki and... Lapras, which I, which I don't mind. I think this is just an easy coaching play. I mean, I could close combat, but I feel like we coach here. And then we just uh, grab a special defense boost, and we kind of roll off from there. I think that's my play all day. Right into a Max Quake, is that thing. I'm going to Dynamax. He might Dynamax as well. Try to set up an Aurora Veil, which would be a solid play. Would be a solid play, but I'm really happy about this uh, coaching coming in here. And then we'll get a special defense boost on our, uh, on our move right here. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Obviously, close combat could do some big damage, but I'm thinking the Lapras Dynamax is so close combat and really not going to like KO it. So I'm all about it. But he ends up going into a Volt Switch. How dare you? He Volt Switches me. 
So he bolt switches into who? Do you have any fun? Lando would be a pain. Please don't Lando it. If he Lando's us, that'd be, mm, that'd be a crazy read. That would be an insane read if he goes into Lando's here. Let's see. He goes into Assassin. Mwah. We like that. We like that because we're dropping a straight Max Quake into it. I like that turn all day. So I'm going to coach up. I'm going to say, Ayo, hey, here's a little coaching action. I'm hoping we can just pick up a straight KO here. But I think we can. I really do think we can. Max Quake's plus one. I know it's not sad, but it should still be, do a decent amount of damage. Yep, get it on out of here. So solid first turn from us. We get rid of his strongest Pokemon. So we get rid of Zassian like that. We have a special defense boost coming in here. I think Lapras is going to go after the Marshadow. And maybe just take it out. Hopefully we can get off one more turn with Marshadow. I really like that. But let's see. And we're just going to Hydro Pump straight into my Sogaleo, which we soak all day. We soak that like it's nothing. Like it's a little, like, uh, what's that move? Bubble? A little bubble, five, level five bubble. <laughs> he goes into Incineroar. I'm chilling with that. Intimidates can come out here. It is going to drop my Marshadow's attack, but not my Sogaleo's. And I feel like we are sitting in such a good position right here. I, mean, I feel like we're sitting in such a good position. I can obviously coach again, but I just feel like a close combat's going to be the play. Close combat into it. We could rock fall or we can just quake again. So I'm leaning towards quake. We know he has Regilecki in the back end. So if he swaps into Regilecki, that thing dies. If he doesn't swap, we're going to hit this Incineroar for hard damage. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But he's going to pull the Dynamax trigger. I think this is Lapras, and I think he should have Dynamax Lapras probably a turn ago and dropped a G-Max Residence if it is a G-Max Lapras. Sometimes they're not anymore. Oh, he's got the Dynamax Incineroar. Yo! All right. We're having some fun with it today. I feel like in the ranked matches, I only ever seen like two Dynamax Incineroars, and that was like desperate times called for desperate measures kind of things. But close, com but close combat flies here. Knocks it more than half off of this Lapras, and that might have not even KO'd if we were, uh, if we weren't minus one on the attack board. But it's fine. Max Quake's gonna fly here, and Incineroar should be able to soak now these Dynamax, and <laughs> doesn't, yo. Sokaleo is so strong. I love this Pokemon. That's gonna be GG's. This guy's just gonna, he should turn off his console, just throw it through the wall. Take out Sword and Shield, throw it in trash, and never play a Pokemon game until Scarlet Violet comes out. Yep, there it is, yo, there it is, I'm telling you, yo. He took it out and threw it in the trash, that is hilarious. That might have been one of the funniest moments I had recording. I kid you not, that was hilarious in my eyes. We were sitting there, I was just like, yo, this dude's gonna quit, he's gonna throw away the game, all that. The next thing you know, it pops up, your opponent has disconnected. We love it. We love a good old disconnecting battle. But hopping into our second battle here, we're going up against a nice, lovely little strong team right here. D Alka, Kaioku, Yafeltal, Zassian, Groudon, and Whimsicott. I feel like this is like the meta for Series 13. Stack the theme and then throw on Whimsicott. It works perfectly and it does so much damage. But uh, I feel like this is just an easy trick room play, right? I mean, he probably leads Whimsicott and he might go for a taunt. But I feel like this is just an easy trick room play, right? We have the trick room. Oh, I can go ground on Charizard. I could indeed go ground on Charizard. That might be my play. But I feel like he leads, he leads Wimscott. So I'm going to go Calyrex. He might also lead, like, Kyogre. That could be a problem. And I feel like we have to bring Groudon in the back end just for that situation. But I'm going to lead Marshadow here. Bring Groudon and Zacian. Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's get after it. Let's get it done here. But I would love the pop a trick here. I would absolutely love to. But we'll, we'll, we'll try, I guess. I guess we'll try. We'll see who he leads because Wimscott is going to be a pain. Like, it probably has Taunt on it, right? It's the only support mine. It's got to have Taunt. I feel like Dialga can counter Trick Room. So Wimscott might not even have Trick Room. Now that I'm thinking about it, if he has Dialga on his team. But he goes in with both. Um. Okay. Uh, do I pop the Trick Room? I know Dialga's going to Dynamax. We know Dialga's going to Dynamax. I might, I'm, th I'm thinking just close combating into it, not even popping a Trick Room. Just Glacial Lancing, maybe? Be a play. It could be a play. These are tough options here. Because Glacial Lance could be solid for us. I'm thinking of just dropping a Glacial Lance. But Trick Room would be lovely. But I feel like he won't set up a Tailwind this turn. So I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go from here. I'm gonna do this. He's gonna Dynamax, I know it. Yep, there's Dynamax. I probably maybe should have Dynamax my Calyx. I mean, we have the Babiri Berry, which is lovely. Probably should have popped the Trick Room. 
I probably should have popped the trick him because he was probably coming after me. Yeah, I should have popped the trick him, but it's not a big deal because I don't think he's going to set up the tailwind. That's the thing. I really don't see him setting up the tailwind. So if he doesn't set up the tailwind and we can get rid of Wimscott, it would be a really good play for us. He charms me. Okay. I mean, not cool with that. He charmed me. I didn't Dynamax, which is really good. So we have we can start trying to get rid of this Pokemon, but... Wow, that hit hard. Please don't be weak this policy. If it is, I'm going to steal stats. It's not. It's going to steal Spike into me. And... Oh, you're going to steal Spike into my Marshadow. Okay. I don't mind it. I don't mind that. So defense boost is coming out here. I could steal it. I might steal it. I might steal it next turn. I think we'll get more value out of that than a close combat. But Glacial Land's going to fly. Do some nice damage onto the Whimsicott. And do we think he sets up the Tailwind? I feel like he might this turn. Do I predict it? I can't predict him going into a Tailwind here. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to predict him going into a Tailwind here. I just feel like it's it's his play all day. And then we could just Shadow Sneak right into the Whimsicott. Uh, I shouldn't have Shadow Sneak. I should have just went for a normal move. We go for a Shadow Sneak. I don't think it's going to KO with a Defense Boost. Oh no, he survives on one, and he does Tailwind, so beautiful prediction from us, we predicted Tailwind, and I'm hoping we can eat this shot off with this Babiri Berry, right? Babiri Berry coming out here, eat up this shot, this will be an insane turn by me, you eat up the shot. Can you eat this up, please? I'm the best, I'm too good at this game. What a read by us. We wait out, we say he doesn't play Tailwind first turn, and then we predicted Tailwind on the second turn. Mwah, Jeans is just... He's too good. He's too good. I'm too good. I'm too good. That's really going to benefit us because he's going to be in Tailwind while we're, uh, while the trick room's up for most of the turn. And I can just go for the Glacial Lance and pop a close combat here. An all day play. It's an all day play, baby. We won't play around here. We won't play around. They are plus two on defense. Maybe I should have stole its stats. But I feel like close combat can do a decent amount of damage. So probably not KO it, but we'll get rid of it next turn if that's the case. Charm's going to come out here. You're going to charm me. Okay, that's fine gonna charm me i'm not doing really that much damage anyway i just need to get rid of this whimscott if we get rid of whimscott let's see, see it later to him and if i have a chance to steal stats next turn i might it really depends what's going on here chilling nay gonna boost up our attack beautiful and we should drop a nice little close combat and deal a decent amount of damage there the damage is flying our defense is down and who are you picking to take out here who are you ko on he's ko on somebody they're gonna be Marshadow. i feel like it's Marshadow. it is Marshadow. Okay, so from here, um, I'm gonna just bring out Zacian, right? Did I bring out Zassass? I could just bring out Groudon. I mean, we're Choice Scarfed. That's our problem. That is our problem. We're Choice Scarfed. But they're in the Tailwind. I say we save this for maybe if Trick or Men's. I'm gonna go in Zacian here. I should have went in the Groudon, maybe just Dynamax them. That's what I should have done. I bring on Zacian. Um, I think we just double down into that thing. Do we double down into the Groudon slot here? Glacial Lance into a Hemoth Blade. What's the Alga really gonna do? He's only plus on defense. Glacial Lance. Is Glacial Lance gonna KO it? I don't need. I don't even think it would. I need to definitely try. But yeah, I'm just gonna double down right into this Groudon slot. I just think it's an easy play. We're gonna hope that the Glacial Lance can actually do that much damage. What is that, like five damage? Six damage, maybe seven? <laughs> it's so low, but I feel like Calyrex does not, does not have enough to take him out. I mean, he got the Chilling Nade boost, so that might no, that might help him out. That might help him pick up the KO. But Glacial Lance flies, show me the KO. Show me the KO, man, or just get some crits right on the field. Just get some crits. It KOs the Alga and does a decent chunk to ground on. This Behemoth Blade might be able to take out Groudon now. Let's make it happen. But yo, the reads from us, setting us up in battle number two. Really, really well. Behemoth Blade's going to fly here. I'm hoping this can pick up the KO. I'm thinking it can. But you never know because Groudon's going to be super bulky. Free focus dashes all day today. Yo, Whimsicott got one. Groudon's legit on one HP, which is ridiculous. And he almost takes out my Zacian. Okay. That's fine. That's cool. God, be kidding me. Look at this thing. Things on one. Get him out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here. But I'll bring out Groudon. I'm going to Dynamax here. While Trick Room's out, that's going to neglect my Choice Scarf. 
And then when I come back, my choice scarf is gonna come in here. And oh my lord, Kai Ogre King, he's here. We don't like that. Um, okay. Do I drop a rock to change the weather? I could indeed do that. I could indeed drop a rock to change the weather. But I feel like maybe just going into a quake would be better. I mean, we know a water moves coming here. Mm, do I want? What do I want to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a rock here. A quick next turn. I will quick next turn. I'm gonna drop a rock here. Do we think he protects Groudon? And I'm not really too worried about Groudon. I'm worried about this Kyogre right here. I'm worried about this Kyogre. Do I have faith in this play rough? A little bit, I do. I haven't missed a play rough in a good bit, but now it's gonna be the time where I miss a play rough. But I'm double down straight into this Kyogre here. I don't like this game one bit. It's scaring me. It's scaring me. I don't like it. I do not like it. Kyogre scares me, dude. That might be the scariest Pokemon. You see that thing come on into the field, you're like, oh, lord. I'm screwed. Because <laughs> you know one water spout in the rain can just kill basically any Pokemon. Well, let's see. He's going to protect Groudon. Kind of saw that coming. So, good thing I doubled down in the Kyogre slot. Beautiful. Lovely. We like that all day. I'm going to drop a Rock Ball. Do some damage, but more importantly, change out that weather and neglect a lot of his damage. And then I think Zassian should just outspeed. And if he can lay in this play rough, we can be fine. It was Zassian. Let's go. It's time to land a play rough. You miss all the time. Play rough? He landed. Surprise, surprise. We pick up the easy KO. That's going to be GG's for us. Dope, dope, dope. Yo, what a second battle from us. Absolutely outright our opponent. Absolutely outright our opponent. I can't believe I did that. I was sitting there, I was just like, okay, he's not going to tail win this turn. And then I was about to just like do something else. And I was thinking, I was just like, yo, he might go into a tail win this turn. We read it, we get off the trick room, and we win battle number two. Final battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against another. Yes, another heavy meta Whimsicott team. These guys are rocking Groudon, Zacian, Yveltal, Kai Ogre, Incineroar, and then the support Whimsicott. How should we go into this one? How should we play? We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record, but... This one's going to be tough, just like the last battle. It's going to be tough. If we didn't make that read in the last battle, we probably would have lost, but I might go Groudon Charizard here. Just lead both of them, which I really like, actually. So I'm going to lead both of them, try to get that combo roll and bring Zacian in the back end and then have my Marshadow because Marshadow is really, really good. And I like him in most situations, especially with that Focus Ash. And plus, this video is about Marshadow. So yeah, let's use Marshadow. <laughs> but I wonder who he's going to lead. He's probably bringing Kyogre, right? I feel like he has to bring Kyogre considering our only weather is Groudon, so he's probably just going to be like, okay, I'll bring Kyogre, just kind of counter up on that. And that would be the smart play, but you never know. You never know what they're going to do. But we're leading the Charizard Groudon. We're looking to get right after this Dynamax in the Pokemon. We have Choice Scarf on Groudon, which can do some work, but obviously he has to lead the Whimsicott, right? Which is kind of annoying. don't like that too much, but we'll see. Right, Whimsicott's got to come out here. Incineroar and... Okay, Incineroar and Groudon. Ah, I don't mind. I mean, he could fake me out. I'm not going to Dynamax to Groudon. I mean, because I'm going to be minus one. But I'm just going to Dynamax to Charizard. And do I go into Wildfire? Oh, we could drop a Rock. I don't like that, yo. We could drop a Rock on me. I don't like that one bit. Um, I could guard the shot. Hmm. Dude, I hate this game. I really don't like this game. <laughs> but yeah, Blade's going to fly here. Um, I, I think I might have to... Mm. I'm going to protect Charizard this turn. Let's see how this one plays. I mean, again, he might drop a rock on me, but I don't want to waste a Dynamax. Because if he drops a rock on me while I'm Dynamax, I'm dead. He withdraws in Cinema. Okay. Goes into Kyogre. Yeah, he's going to go into Kyogre. I'm cool with that. He's going to change up weather. Uh, it's not a big deal. I'm not Dynamax and Charizard right now. We'll see what he wants to do. He's going to Dynamax that ground on. I'm going to be super, super surprised if he goes into a rock move here. I really am going to be. Because the reason I say that is because he swapped in the weather just to change up weather again. Makes zero sense. But we're now choice into a uh, Crystal Spice Blaze, which isn't too bad. We're going to be able to outspeed both these guys, which is pretty lovely. And I'm just going to protect my lovely Charizard. And the way that these turns set up, it makes it look like that. He doesn't. He will still not know that our Groudon is uh, choice. Who dodged that? Hit the Kyogre, please. Okay, cool. We hit the Kyogre. I'd rather hit the Kyogre more so than the Groudon. He goes for the Rockfall. This has got to be in the Charizard, right? Can you eat this up through protect? It's so weak to rock, man. It is so weak to rock. But yeah, he changes up weather with Kyogre just to change it up with the rock fall. I mean, that's fine. Not a big deal. It is not a big deal. I actually fine with that turn. But from here, I could definitely go into 
another blades and just going to blast burn might as well go into a blast burn right do as much damage as i possibly can over onto this ground now i need to protect the kyogre here might even protect oh my god we should have done an extra uh, ground on or swapped it i just realized we have zassian and Mars Shadow in the back end who we die him at we're gonna have to dash max Mars Shadow. <laughs> I just realized that after I clicked this turn, I was like, oh my lord, we, we messed up. We gotta, we gotta go back. <laughs> we definitely messed up here. Unless Marshadow can clutch it up, Dynamax. I believe in him. I have a lot of faith in my boy Marshadow. This dude's taking a while. Is he gonna swap again? I might swap back into Incineroar, which I wouldn't mind. I mean, we have Blades flying. Ready to go. Let's see what he does. We shall see. But if I can get my ground on swap to be able to Dynamax him, that could be huge. Because that resets the choice scarf. Everything will be good. And he does withdraw. He's got, I think he's going Incineroar here. Hey, he does go Incineroar. He's got to go after Charizard here, right? He's got to go after Charizard here. Blade's going to fly. Do a nice chunk of damage on Incineroar. We are minus two ground on. Blast Burn's going to fly. And dude, come on now. Come on now. That's no good. That's no bueno. We don't like that one bit. But yeah, I'm going to swap Grout on here. Um, That's fine. He's going to get dropped my defense. That is just... Oh, that is just pain. That is just pain. Okay, I could take out what's called right now with the Marshadow. I think he has to go after my... I think he has to go after my Marshadow this turn. But I'm going to swap. Hopefully he's not going into a Quake into my... Ground on slot because I'm swapping his ass in here. I would think he would go after Marshadow, but from here I could just go into I could Spectral Thief here. I mean, what are their stats? Are they boosting anything? No, absolutely nothing. Okay, never mind. So Spectral Thief, no go. I think close combat and just taking out Incineroar is probably our play, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, Pinhead, your time is up. All right, let's rip into this dude. <laughs> Trying to think, this one's gonna be close, but his Dynamax turns are almost over. He has not like he has no stat boost, so he has no significant advantage when he comes out of the, the Dynamax. I mean, his defense drop isn't really gonna do too much. Well, he might come after me just because Crown is defensive dropped. Suck. So. Because that was kind of a smart play, drop the defense, but I think granting yourself stats is a lot better. But I feel like he only has Rock move. Ground move and ghost move. So only the ghost move would have been any worth valuable. Let's combat flies. And this thing has to chop away, but I still think he can pick up the KO. It's already down to close half health. Marshadow's a beast, and he gets it out of here. Good work, Marshadow. You chop berry. Poo poo. Get it on out of here. <laughs> we dump on it. So get rid of him. Um, Groudon, can you please go after my marshy Marshadow? I would love to have my Zassian here. That seems like it's going to Zassian, but we're hoping it's in the Marshy Marshadow. Yeah, dude, I hate my life. I really do. Of course, swapping Zassian. We're dead. And that actually happened uh, with us in the first battle. Dude swapped his Regilecki into Zassian. And our Groudon just... Oh no, it was a Sogaleo. Just burrowed it down. Took it out, but... Okay. Um, hmm. I still feel like we have a decent shot to win this. We still have Dynamax. I could Dynamax Marshadow, but... I could co ooh, ooh, wait, yo, wait a minute. I could coach up. I got the coach of the year right here. I got the New York Giants head coach right here. <laughs> You're gonna send out Zassian. Yeah, this is. But I think I keep my choice. I'm thinking of keeping my choice, Coach, Blades, and then Dynamaxing. I think that's my play all day. I really do. We could coach and outspeed, but if we Dynamax, we don't outspeed. I'm actually really liking that. I'm all about it. He does not know what I have a choice. Let me see your speed real quick. What's your speed? Is it like 140 something? Oh, 150. You are outspeeding. No problem with that choice scarf. So, yeah, we're just going to coach up here. I think this is just a simple, easy play. As long as we don't miss the blades. I missed two attacks so far. This on this match. I miss a blast burn and I miss a blades on the ground on. So we're just gonna coach. We're, we're not gonna force the Dynamax here because if Zassian doesn't protect, we pick up the KO. 
I feel like we should eat up whatever Groudon has to offer, and then we Dynamax getting us some HP back and going getting after a battle that way. Unless it's another Pokemon that we could just take out with the Choice Scarf. We might not even have. We might not even use Dynamax here. We'll see what he wants to do here. This dude does take a while to pick his turns, but I feel like he really thinks him out. But Blades is gonna come. Oh, dude, we don't get the coaching first. I forgot about that. Blades still flies and takes out the Zacian, which I absolutely love. Get a crit on. Who we get a crit on? The Groudon. That's huge. That is huge. We get some damage off there. Coaching's gonna come out second. That actually works out perfectly. Because I'm still able to get my defense boost. While Groudon is probably throwing a blade here, right? He's gonna go for blades. Yo, who dodged that? Marshadow dodged that? I'd rather Marshadow dodge that. Yes, he does. Woo! Yo, Jeans is here. Jeans came to play. We came to play. I might Dynamax some Marshadow in this in this case. Let's see, he goes to Kyogre here. I think we Dynamax Marshadow. We outspeed. Yeah, let's Dynamax Marshadow here. I need to keep the speed with the with the ground on. And we already know Marshadow at speed, so. I think we just go for blades here. Drop across the board, and then I Dynamax and go into do I Phantasm? Yeah, Phantasm's gonna do the most damage. I Phantasm into Kyogre. Let's go, yo. Marshadow's still getting the Dynamax. And I was kinda scared of Dynamax and Marshadow. But everything kind of worked out perfectly here. We were able to swap out that ground on. And that's what we needed. We needed him swapped out to get his attack stat back and to reset his uh Three scarf, even though we were still using blades, but everything worked out perfectly. As of right now, you never know. But Marshadow gets a Dynamax, makes a cool sound, yo. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Blade's gonna fly here. It is gonna double connect, which we love. Take out the ground on, please, or just take them both out, yo. Marshadow just Dynamaxing for nothing. He, he just wanted to get bigger. He just wanted to get bigger. He just wanted to feel what it feels like to be a Dynamax Pokemon. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen, three and zero oh with this Marshadow team. Talk about domination. We absolutely dominated every single one of our opponents in today's video, going 3-0 and and showcasing this team to its fullest potential. Marshadow was amazing, being able to coach, being able to do some big damage with close combat. We also had Groudon in the battle. We got some Trick Room calls. Just everything all around was perfect with this team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.